I think there's been a degree of fascination with lobotomies, um, particularly frontal lobotomies. So this procedure was first developed in the 1930s and it was used for mental illness. Um, it was felt to have a calming effect on patients. Unfortunately, um, many people were injured by this procedure and it had the opposite effect. They would become very um, apathetic, no emotion. Um, they would be disinhibited. They would say things and do things they would never normally do. So there are a lot of bad effects that happen from the procedures. And typically the procedure, one of the common ways to perform it was by putting an ice pick um, through the upper orbit of the eye socket into the brain and then they would twirl the ice pick around to disrupt the frontal lobe. So what they were actually trying to do is disrupt the fibers in the prefrontal cortex from communicating with the rest of the brain. Um, probably the most famous person ever had this procedure was JFK's sister. Um, this was done at her father's request and uh, she had a frontal lobotomy performed and was never the same apparently. She was disabled, couldn't speak well or walk after that. These procedures obviously fell out of vogue and really are almost illegal at this point. Um, but certainly in its peak, thousands of people had this procedure performed and many, many people were um, harmed and even maimed if not killed.